Hey y'all, I've got to get ready with me today using, of all things, the Original Naked palette. I was just playing around in some makeup today and it popped out at me and I got all like the old school makeup love feels from it and I wanted to dig back into it. I have just been craving some summer recently and for some reason this is very much a summer palette to me. I don't know why, it, perhaps I used to always take it on vacation, maybe that's it, maybe the like half-baked gold, I don't know, it just kind of speaks to me and it says summer. So I was kind of inspired by, I didn't use just that palette because uh, frankly there's things that I need in my makeup makeup routine that this palette doesn't offer anymore. More mattes for one. Never been a big fan of Naked or Buck, I know. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into this Get Ready With Me. So let's start priming. Start with a light priming mist, my Saturday Skin Daily Do. Did you see the Wet n Wild is coming out with one? That may be something I have to pick up. I did just get their email for their, I guess it's their spring summer collection, Flights of Fancy. It looks interesting. Um, the blushes look really nice. Not that I need blush or would pick any up, um, but they do actually look quite nice. Wet n Wild occasionally comes out with some interesting things in their limited edition collections. Um, so I like to see something really usable and wearable. All right, so primer, I'm gonna use my 100% Pure Mattifying Primer. I'm trying to use a lot of the items in my monthly makeup basket. One, so you can see them in use if interested, but two, to actually use them. For eye primer, I'm just using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So for foundation, you probably guessed it, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shades 110 and 170 mixed together. I'm pretty much doing equal parts of each. I'm gonna do some concealing and highlighting with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. I'm gonna lightly set the under eye with the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. I learned my lesson that you definitely can't bake with it. It is way too pink for that, but I do like it as a finishing powder and on the under eye, it actually looks quite nice, very light diffusing, uh, but you can't go too heavy with it. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the, you guessed it, Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Mattifying Powder. I'm actually not using my Velour Poof. I have been using my powder brush slightly more, only because I don't need to set this foundation heavily. It's really simple to just do that in my T-zone and be done. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing with the Becca Bronzer and Bronzed Bondi. Oh my God, how many times can I say the word bronze? It's such a beautiful color, I love this. In fact, I went to go use my uh, Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer, which I've always really liked, I have, and I, I just didn't like the way it looked on my skin. It like looked muddy or something compared to this. This has like a warmth to it that looks really natural on my skin. And for blush, I'm gonna stick within my makeup basket and use my Becca Blush in Flower Child. What's she doing back there? Oh, did, fuck your pillows. Fuck your pillows, is that, is that what you're saying? Thank you. I love the respect that I get. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to brows. I'm just gonna brush them out real quick, make sure there's no product left in it. And then I'm gonna use my ABH Dip Brow and Ash Brown. Uh, hold on, I forgot a step, a highlighter, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm gonna be using the highlighter portion. You know, I was really tempted to pick up a new compact of Moonstone recently. I love Moonstone in the summer. It's probably my favorite summer highlighter, but I resisted. Well, I tried to go very natural with my brows today, but I got a chunk of dip brow that I tried to flick off and it just smudged straight into my brow. 
All right, well, not the best brow job I've ever done for some reason, I, I guess I'm just off today. Uh, but there they are, nonetheless. At least they're on my face, right? All right, y'all, so let's move on to eyes. I am so excited about this for some reason. I don't know why I'm so giddy. Uh, we're using the original Naked palette today. So to be honest with you, okay, I received this as PR, I think it was like Valentine's Day, right? And I was like, oh, cool, a new Naked palette, and I used it a couple of times, and I was like, you know what, it's good, it's a classic, it will always have a place in my heart, I will always love it, always. Don't know why my voice cracked like a 12 year old boy just then. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of my first loves, I will always love it, right? But I've since kind of moved on, there's other things that I'm interested in now, and I just, I haven't touched it since. There's a few shades in here, like Sidecar, I've always loved Sidecar and Sin. Those are probably my two favorite, as well as Half-Baked, I do love that shade. Uh, anyway, so I kind of randomly pulled it out today and was like, you know what, I want to use this. I want to, I want to test it out again. Like, we shouldn't forget about things that we once loved. Although, I've never been a fan of Naked and Buck. I know, shoot me. Um, I know people love them, like classic neutral matte shades. I never really have. So what I think I'm going to do, honestly, is use mattes from the uh, Petite Heat palette, like, you know, some of these transitions instead of Naked and Buck, and I think I'm going to do something with Half Baked. I don't know, I'm just feeling like the gold summery vibes. I'm so ready for summer. So I don't really have a concrete plan here or anything like that. I'm just going to play around, see what comes of it. And instead of black eyeliner, what I think I'm gonna do on the waterline is actually a brown. And I'm kind of going back and forth between just their matte brown and demolition, or roach, which is a shimmery brown, uh, kind of a mid-tone. I don't know if this is gonna show up. I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna see how it looks, but if I don't like it, I'm gonna go over it with a deeper brown. Yeah, that's kind of what I feared. It just it doesn't really show up. It doesn't add the definition that I really want it to. So I'm just going to do the deep brown in demolition. And then the last step would be mascara. I'm going to do just my little sample size of the Stila Huge Extreme Lash. I am liking it so far. I am. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. So my last step is just going to be to add some lip gloss. I'm not doing anything heavy or dramatic on the lips. I am frankly sick of liquid lipsticks like no other. I just want like fresh juicy lips to be in style again. I think they are kind of going that way. Anyways, this is the Urban Decay Lip Gloss in Fuel. It's just kind of a light sheer nude, kind of a warmer nude. All right, y'all, finished look, all done. If you cannot tell, I am craving like light summer airiness. I've been making myself like a lot of, I don't know, lighter foods, cooler foods, like a lot of salads, fruit salads. I'm just, just craving it. I'm so ready for summer, for warm air, and just, I don't know, to shed all the winter heaviness that I've been dragging around, including wearing a full face of makeup. This is still a full face of makeup. You understand what I'm saying a makeup junkies light version of makeup. Anyway, most importantly, I'm just glad that we got to hang out and play in a little bit of makeup today. So I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see y'all in a couple of days in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.